Okay, this evening has started off a little rough. It's blowing like heck outside and hardly any lights at all are on. Occasionally, flashes show a very ominous sky and sounds of rolling thunder are getting closer fast. Hope whatever it is clears up quickly. We've got a big day planned for tomorrow. <laughs> that can't be good. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following areas in South Dakota, Eastern Pennington, Hawken, Jackson, Oglala, Lakota, and Southern Mead. <laughs> Everything's okay. I'm good. Really? Anyone else smell ozone? <clears throat> Custer State Park encompasses 71,000 acres in the Black Hills. It is home to abundant wildlife, adventure, camping, hiking, biking, swimming, fishing, or relaxing. The Visitor Center can give you a chance to fill your National Park Passport, as well as some history about the park, including some of the movies that were filmed here. There is a regular theater which shows a movie, kind of a PSA, about the park that is narrated by Kevin Costner.
After getting a lot of insight about the park, we headed out to Wind Cave National Park. Our first bison sighting is only a few miles down the road as a small herd decides to meander across the road. What magnificent beast! We were told that one can cover 31 feet in less than 7 seconds. That's pretty quick. Something that some of the visitors seem oblivious to. No situational awareness with cameras, phones, in their faces as a large bull walks up behind them. When I was at work, we'd call that job security. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. Wind Cave National Park, Wind Cave, one of the longest and most complex caves in the world. It is named for barometric winds at its entrance. It is the home to boxwork, a unique formation rarely found elsewhere. We spent about an hour touring the Garden of Eden within. Be warned, there is a lot of low ceilings. Cameras are allowed, but no backpacks, and, like most caves, masks are required. Baby, let your head down, be a little wilder. Baby, kick your shoes off, you don't have to hide it.
next week we're going to take a drive through the Badlands and maybe check out a few boondocking locations. So if you can, make it a point to swing back by and have a look. Once again, our subscriber base is growing. It is so great to get a chance to meet so many new team members showing up to the channel. We are all creating a great community of like-minded folks. And we are working hard to create content that entertains, informs, enlightens, and hopefully just makes you smile. Thank you so much. See you guys again next week. Until then, travel safe and make this your someday.